Hello everybody, welcome to a great first round match, CCL Season 54, the final big playoffs with money thanks to DLA Piper. We've got Martin Septim with Proels against Misspelled Tree with Wood Elves, and in the booth with me is Daedalquist. Hello! Hello! Thanks for having me again, despite my previous efforts. <laughs> yep, just don't say it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't know. I didn't even specifically reference that one. <laughs> All right, fine. you just meant in general, you shit. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> My general level has been poor. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, definitely, don't worry, Diddle. You're, you're at least one of the top 20 commenters on Blood Bowl. <laughs> one of the best 20 Blood Bowl commentators. <laughs> that is what I expected, so I truly appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Don't ask me to list the, 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 the 21st because you might drop. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't. <laughs> yes, I, I, I'm well aware of that. <laughs> <That's> a... <laughs> oh, dear. Oh wow, Jimmy Fantastic is dead, absolutely diced. Um, so yeah, let, let, we can pause it. The good thing is about these replays, we can pause it. So if you look at this, yeah. everybody, nearly everybody on uh, Martin Septim's team is called Jimmy Fantastic, all caps, absolutely amazing. Uh, one of these blitzers has lower case, which is a bit crap. And then he's also got a lineman called Kalon, he's better than Fymir. And he also has a player called Jimmy Fantastic. <laughs> so, um, you know, but most of them are all caps, Jimmy Fantastic, which is really cool. Um, he's got an agile catcher, which is nice. Mighty Blow Tackle catcher, which is nice. And another Edge 5 catcher. So, you know, some real good players. Uh, Garda, Blitzers, decent. Um, so, yeah, pretty nice team. Um, I would say better than Misspell Tree's team, which is why Misspell Tree is down 150 TB and has a wizard. Also, three reserves for Martin Septim. Uh, Misspell Tree has a really nice war dancer. Uh, actually, two, right? Uh, I think there's a there's a stripper, and then there's the Mighty Blow Tackler, yeah. and then there's a Garda and a really nice move up catcher. So, oof. Yeah, so the, the move. The moves are really nice for her, um, but as uh, as you were on the the main thing that Tree has got going for her is the fact that she's wood ups against pro ups, and that's not a lot because pro ups are surprisingly good, uh, and then in the elf mirrors, mm -hmm. uh, and both of them has a mighty blow, so like uh, they're both gonna cause some attrition to each other. Um, yeah, there's room for a lot of variance, isn't there, in these matches? Like, yeah. in general, right? the, the Edge Fires can do things, the Mighty Blow Tackles can remove people, the Wizard could be critical. So it's very interesting. It'll be a very interesting tactical game. Both are on the same level, I would say, of coaching ability. Uh, they're both pretty good, but make the occasional move where you think, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> 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 yep, <laughs> I think that's accurate. <laughs> no offense. That is an accurate depiction of their play of play styles and abilities. <laughs> if you have any complaints, uh, you can address them all to www.twitch.tv slash dimmy underscore g. <laughs> so that's what I was hoping you were going with that. <laughs> you <did> not disappoint. <laughs> To the strength two, which you know, I don't want to say it's a mistake, but you know, if you remember, there's we've seen a lot of a lot of elves that have a strength four player and they don't carry with a strength four, so yeah. willingly giving it to a strength two, um, not what I would do. No. It's not shit and wrong, but slightly suboptimal. 
Yeah, I mean, this, this guard's in a decent spot. Because with this dancer here, it's really hard to get, like, the 2D on the ball, isn't it? <clears throat> it's been a while since I played these... Uh these elf mirrors, but I recall Tree playing one really, really well against... Um, oh, no, it's easy, it's easy. I Sorry, I was get... I was mistaken, it's easy to get 2D on the ball, you can go in here, I didn't think yeah, of hitting yeah. from here. I was thinking of hitting from here and here, but I didn't even see this one, there were three places you could hit from. And there you go, gets the power. Oh, glorious scatter for Tree. Yeah, that's Ooh. as good as it gets. There is the <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolute god tier scatter. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't try to pick up. They've got two two players on the uh, ball. Ooh, a blockless block. Now it gets really scary. Hodge step there. Oh, grab nice for the one turn. So keeping this dancer back as a safety. Build the pick up. I wonder if she was going to go for the score there, right? Pick it up, dodge out, hand off to him and score. I think that was maybe the play. But now, this is... I mean, Elliot wouldn't say it's over. <laughs> but... It's pr Oh, wait, yeah, okay, that's... Yeah, size to pump the ball. It's, uh, it's looking really bad. Really bad for Tree now, isn't it? With this? only two tackle zones on the ball. We've got five around. Make a full cage with a couple of twos. But there is the dancer. Trying to recall, it was a couple of seasons ago. The tree played a really well played um, elf mirror. Uh, where they were mainly just standing off um, for eight turns <laughs> of their drives and then one turning. Um, this is like such a more risky line of play where you're going for the quick score because like, like even then you're giving the ball back to them to, to score in seven, right? Um, really like what you want to do is score turn five or turn six so you give yourself three three turns to the opponent and three turns for you to to or two turns for you to turn them over and, and score back um not actually allowing them a proper drive um, oh. going for the leap sack gets the push which is all that's needed with strip In and lovely scatter. I think the GFIs were right there. Let's have a look. Um, if you could, if you stand here, oh, GFIs post reroll GFIs. If you stand here, see, then well, it's easy to get him on, isn't it? And then the tackler, uh, this tackler could actually dodge out and then through, right? This one could one, two, three, four, five, six, seven GFI to hit, and then this catcher could come through and recover. And like maybe lob it to one of these catchers, or these catchers can come back as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So these catchers can just fully cage it. In fact, mm. yeah. So actually, I think uh, 
It was a four plus, but I mean four plus of the reroll seventy five percent. So I think even even with no reroll, I think I think you've got to try and get the score there. It's just too too dangerous. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> you would. <laughs> not gonna. I'm not gonna go in full argument mode about it, but yeah, not a. Things can get there, things could make it difficult. <laughs> mm, I mean if you're not gonna make the second GFI, then you don't do the first one, right? It's either it's either none of them. <laughs> one is the absolute worst thing you can do, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Definitely. <laughs> Yeah, stall square or skull, yeah. So now this is looking really, really difficult. But, you know, there's always a chance, right? There was also an argument for, rather than leaping in to strip the ball last turn, there was an argument for, like, a fireball or a bolt right last turn, and then that would have made the whole getting around better and, like, maybe he's could have stalled, right? Maybe he's could have saved the re-roll on the, on the sack attempt, and then maybe he would have had the re-roll for the score or whatever. So, but, I mean, obviously you don't want to, you don't want to bolt. You don't want to lose anyone dry. But so it's probably correct to hold there, probably correct. But there was five players, right? You could have five all five players. You're unlikely to get a great uh, like you're unlikely to get a great wizarding opportunity. But I guess just holding the wizard affects how Martin Septon can play. There's a certain element in just keeping the, the wizard in this match. It's interesting. Super interesting. I mean, at the end of the day, it's just all roll double ones, isn't it? At the end. <laughs> Ultimately, whoever rolls the more double ones is going to feel bad. <laughs> Pretty much. It's funny, the, the move is like probably bad on this guy, right? Because he's got strip, sidestep, and doesn't have wrestle. Or tackle, so like... Well, he doesn't need tackle because he's got strip, but we could have had wrestle. Could be like, you know, wrestle, strip, ultimate, sacker. And the other one's got the mighty roll tackle, so he can hit your uh, he can hit your dodges, and this can hit your non sure hands. I mean, Woody's are ne definitely not the favourite if they if they end the half one nil down. <laughs> they definitely not. But that's a big if. Like, it's not over. Don't say it's actually not over. Right? No. Got to think. Got to think. Uh, Martin Seven's got to think here about where he's going to sidestep, right? Like where he's going to sidestep to um, if he gets sacked. So he probably wants to sidestep to here. It's pretty, probably yeah. good, isn't it? I guess this one's better than this one. But there's a, like that's something you always got to think about where you can sidestep to if you lose it. It is really nice having a sidestep against a stripper. It's not really a counter, but at least it's a mitigator. Turn six. So yeah, can't try any speculative GFI. Might, might might have been better off basing people here. Maybe maybe he's gonna try and base next turn. Maybe that's too late. Maybe he had to base everyone this turn. I don't even know if these were GFI scenes. This one just chose not to base, right? This one just chose not to base. Ooh, that's, that's unlucky. Ooh, and that's a bad miss. I wonder where this one was gonna go. Oh, scoring threat maybe. But to be fair, I can come down here and still be a scoring threat. <laughs> Maybe he's could have like come to here with this first. I doubt it was gonna cheer by anything. I doubt it was gonna stay up here, somebody's gonna move this before the one in nine block. This is probably back to front here. Probably should have the sidestepper here. 
and he had five here, so he can sidestep like. Uh, wait. Yes, we can. No. Oh. Yeah. You probably want to be on the sideline. Probably want to be on the sideline with this guy here, so you can sidestep to there or there if you lose it. Hmm. Yeah. So ball should have been here. Match five here. I think this is pretty good. Um, it's pretty it makes good. It... This is... That, my way is better. <laughs> 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 just, just saying. <laughs> one of the, one of my favorite things about you, Jimmy, is that you're so humble. Thanks. I, I am. I mean, I'm <laughs> the I'm... most humblest man in the world. Yeah, it's. I just say how it is. You do. I'm not gonna, this was a this was a seventy five percent dodging for a one day. No, right. I, if he was on the sideline, that's not even close to being possible. It was way better being on the sideline. Good for Martin Septim, obviously, right? <laughs> <laughs> this was, this is, it was a bit shit, honestly, you put him in there. Jim is annoyingly completely right on this instance. The square he spotted was better. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, PC. <laughs> Which is, it's it's a real shame because, actually, what I, not, not for that reason. Uh, Jim's a very good analyst. Um, it was because one of the reasons I wanted to be here was to say, I thought this entire half was played with some really good elf play. Um, some fantastic, fantastic double level screens. Uh, as Jim was saying, looking not just at where the ball's going, but where it's going to go when it does get stripped, when it does get taken down. Knowing exactly what the opponent could do and trying to counter those abilities and know where they could lead during the turn. Um, some really, really good play from both sides. I thought the aggression from Tree to try and get the ball back was placed really well. Um, not over committing, but you know, keeping going for it, really relentless in that pursuit. It just hasn't worked out. Um, really, really good play. Are you sticking except, around a bit, PC? I, I'm happy to, yeah. Except that one, that one square where I do think you were right, but Martin got away with it. So, yeah. And you know, there's if we relentlessly analyse, there's always a slightly better square or a slightly better turn ordering. Indeed. Uh, there's like this is obvious. There's an obvious chain here to get it in, but it is an uphill ride because of the, because of this guy. Um, so, well, the guard and this guy. So, it, while while uh, I thought it was a good recovery from Martin this turn, like, yep. it, it, it was he was in a bit of a pickle. And while the obvious chain was on for the uphill, I thought that's not that bad, right? But the bad thing is about the about this chain as well is. Like the sidestep is to here, isn't it? Because you can't sidestep to the side. Yeah. So, so your side, your, your sidestep is a bit of a dodgy square. Yeah, with with some with some terrible bounce out of possibilities, some ping ponging into bad places. Um, and we get a really nice spot from Tree to go for it. Oof. Three TZs. <laughs> and to clear the and to clear the war dancer out the way to allow it to land somewhere where it isn't then. You know, picked up by an elf or bounced back in is also great stuff. Yep. Nope. Failed the pick up. Ah. <laughs> Scott us back to a catch. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's aren't impossible. <laughs> it's insane, isn't it? That's actually oh, poor tree. Insane. <laughs> actually insane. And he gets powered on the dancer. But didn't die, so. So, yeah, it's, I mean, that's huge, right? From the concept of. It's enormous. Yeah. Did Tree have a Kanori threat? She did have a Kanori threat in place, didn't she? So, yeah. it could have, she could have ended up 1 0 up just if that, that little 4 plus scoop up had worked. Yeah. Again, could have considered a wizard, right? Because the wizard, you know, could have been a two touchdown swing, right? From, from yeah. Down to yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe that was the time. Yeah, it was worth thinking about. You know, whether it whether it should have happened or not, you know, who knows? Because there is value to holding it over Martin's head for the rest of the match, but still, I feel like maybe... Uh... There really is, and these are two very dynamic, very aggressive elf teams. And you've got to feel there's a load of play left in this. Mm. You're, a, you're a good elf uh, whittler. Dadel, would you be um, would you be sort of un unhappy, obviously, to be one nil down, but at least there's still a full team, or what? How would you be feeling? 
No, it would be very, very frustrating being 1-0 down. Um, but it's what I uh, was trying to go for early on, right? Um, with the, the fact that uh, Trey uh, went for the early score but left the sack so open. Like, it, it doesn't look so open, but, like, it, it is, right? Like, there are two agi ups on the, yeah, on the pro team. Um, so, yeah, keep, so, yeah, keeping be, the ball on be, strength, too, was, is just yeah, too dangerous, basically. Yeah, Ooh, I'd be blitz. kicking myself for that. Um, oh, this is the great equalizer. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> that's, um, that's what we call an elf breakfast, isn't it? Yum, yum, yum. Yeah, the short <laughs> kick as well. <laughs> Do we Yum call it an elf deep. breakfast? We do now, Jim. I've decided. <laughs> yeah, are. It's family friendly. It's it's you know it's a, it's a nice thing. From now on, it's known as an elf breakfast. And you, you we need something for a ball in a blitz landing just over the line when all your elves are looking at it going yum. <laughs> Nine, one, two, three. So maybe I what I think I would have done is I would have tried to get the the move nine sprint your feet under the ball here because just for the sidestep, yeah. right? The side yeah. step. Also the catch. No, there's a catch run. Yeah, there's a catch run. But I, I think I would have gone for the GFIs just to get sidestep. Yeah, and, yeah. And then it's really, Both sidestep really... and the, and the fact that you're then in uh, in scoring range, right? Yeah, yeah. Um... Flip me. Blitz does nothing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was three GFR. A little bit it was rowdy re roll, maybe, but uh, I, I can see why. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe it is. Maybe you just give up on this drive and, <laughs> and just accept. I mean, it's hard to just accept not. Not pawing capture, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it doesn't even hit the catcher there. I mean, you don't even give up on it as necessarily, right? The the place the, the placement that she's gotten or he's gotten her into now is like it's still a rough spot to get out of. Yeah, but you know what I mean, like give up on getting the ball. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you can just just do the two D, but it's, I mean it's really bad. It's, you're in a really bad spot. He is. Merton. Well, I mean everybody is, aren't they? Yeah. You know the Wood Elves are hemorrhaging rerolls, and they really need to make this stick, but it it's not stuck quite yet. Oh, the the pass. Ah, there we go. Is that far enough? And now off ski. Oh. I mean, because the, the problem is there was that lovely um, advanced pro elf. If you'd scooted away backwards and tried to hold it in the backfield, you may well have just given up another touchdown. This one should have been the But no, it's, it's not quite far enough, is it? Ah, but couldn't go on the sideline because this guy could reach to surf, so... Yeah. Um, that is a shame. Well, the screen's going to have to do the job. Also, to be fair, if you go on the sideline, you could put in two players here and chain this guy forward, and then he could do the surf as well, so yeah, yeah there was actually yeah. nowhere to go. Except, I guess, further back, right? I guess it could have been further back. But further back is also shit. Well, the screen is forming, Jim. At least there is elves to come and help afterwards, or to recover after the sack, or to... It's hard to believe it doesn't end up on the floor, at least, this turn, though. I mean, further back, it could be in a cage, right? That's the good thing oh. about being further back. Yeah, but near even oh, more elves. Yeah. yeah. Like, what, what, what I like about this is that... Yeah, he can get the ball down, but then what, right? The yeah. ball's still mm. like not recoverable for him, or with with not... plenty of elves combing okay. in on it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So he's yeah. not really. This getting is in away scoring range. <laughs> <laughs> this catch is in scoring range. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Gets the hit. 
And sometimes, you know, 45% of the time that's supposed to not happen. Ooh. <laughs> oh, the ball goes out. Oh, that's nasty. That that's, um, nasty yeah, that's, that's I think, solved all problems. Can you spot yep, the misplay because... here? <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Right, what's the right play here? Um, we see that it's, it's a slight misplay, but just a pro tip for everybody. Um, <laughs> we, can see, we can see what he does. He dodges through tackle here. And... Uh, and then dodges, oh, then leaps there, okay. And then uh, does that, what he could have done is, what he could have done is he could have gone around, right? One, two, three, yeah. four, five, six, seven, eight. And then, so there's a two plus dodge with dodge and then passed on a two plus because he's got nerves of steel. Well, and dodge five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It didn't even matter. I was so happy that I spotted nerves of steel, but also he's dodge five. So he, the pass is uh, yeah. better. It really right? didn't matter. <laughs> the, the pass is better than a dodge through tackle though. Yeah, like, yeah, like, definitely. Yeah, yeah. One, one less roll over, or oh, one skill roll. Like, whatever it is, it's better. Slightly, like marginally better. Oh. Marginally better. It was so marginal, but I thought I was clever because I spotted an opportunity to use uh, <laughs> nerves of steel, but it didn't matter because you had five. <laughs> Never <Dice>. mind. <laughs> so much less clever than I thought I was. <laughs> Nothing new there. Yeah. Okay. Nobody thinks they're as clever as I think I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, in terms of, in terms of thinking you're the best, you are the best. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Possibly behind the ex-president of the United States, but you know, it's close. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's that's so brutal. We've seen two drives now, one incredibly short, one incredibly long. And in both of them, it's been nip and tuck. It's been, you know, the odd little moment here and there. And Tree's been playing fine in both and has come out on the, the bad end of both. Yeah. But still got the Wizards, still got a lot of play in this game. Elves are still very aggressive, very dynamic. Yep. As we saw yeah. there, it can go from one end to the other and a score is done just like that. I mean, the Edge Five has been eye. the thing, hasn't it? The Edge Five has been the thing. This movement hasn't been yeah. so influential. They have both got the mighty blow tackler. Um, the strip has, has come into play a bit, but ultimately, the Edge Five has been been the decider. This, so the, far. It's done this some great work, hasn't it? One of my uh, one of the things that I've realised, like the the pros are really difficult for the Wood Elves to deal with, because um, they they do get a lot of blood step early on. Um, and they're, they're they're just about as quick as you are, uh, so you you don't really have that many advantages over them. Um, like what else, or, or pros is my lowest win rate against, um, and I play a lot of what else in Skaven, right? Mm, interesting. I've also got a theory that they're one of those races that is played by people that are very good at playing them. Yes, uh, the because a the average would the average pro player is uh, probably higher in skill level than a lot of other races. I mean, they're, they're so brittle, they're so fragile. If you and you have to go so incredibly fast and hard at the face with them, and if you do it wrong, if you slightly miss time, you just lose the team. Yeah, I kind of hate not getting the extra push here because obviously only needed one push on the on this one, but you know it's still three GFIs. Yeah. With uh, thing like you know, it's kind of it's kind of no cost to getting an extra push here. Like it's so easy to get the extra push. Probably, probably should have got the extra push, but you know. I mean, this way is ever so slightly safer. It just clears the way out earlier, doesn't it? It means you're less worried about other things, I suppose. But yes, it can be made easier. Yeah. I mean, e even doing it this way, you could have still pushed there and it would have traded one of the GFIs for a dodge with dodge, which is still better, right? Technically better. Yeah. But two GFIs and a dodge is better than three GFIs. But, you know, only slightly, like, super, super, super nitpicky. <laughs> Bang! Over we go! Mm. I like going for the one turn there, by the way. To oh, like completely. Yeah. Game, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Put that pressure to... straight back on the pro elves, who, uh, despite um, Daedal's... You know, I, I've looked at them. Some of them are a little bit slower. 
Um, <laughs> I mean, you know, yes, the lemon are six support. instead of seven. You know, but, just but just they, saying. Blitz the seven for, instead of eight, yeah, like the dancers. And the catches, for the catches don't have sprint. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, but other yeah, than that, they are they're just getting, the same they're speed. They're getting strength back. Uh, <laughs> yeah, on the catches they get some strength, but they're slower still. Um, but so yes, they're not. They are cheaper, and they can overwhelm wood elves. And if they do get those side steps working, Dedal's absolutely right. They're not. You're not so fast than them that they can't suddenly be all over you. Yeah. Um, with their cheap sort of you know, coat Ooh. from Aldi level. There was heat luck. There was heat, and the mighty blow tackler is off for tree. Wow, nice. that it, that's a big miss. Yeah. Mm, and, uh, and the AG fives are still there, which have done so much work for these pros. Yep. And that makes it nine versus eleven. No, ten versus eleven. That's pretty tough for Tree, because you'd have thought that the Wood Elves uh, do have slightly more agency in terms of turnovers, just because of the leap, because the dancers are so brutal and quick. But yeah, short numbers makes it very tough. Yeah, and the pros just going to spread out all over, aren't they? And then look for a nice quick 3-1. Such a difficult position to be in, trying to stop pros doing whatever they wish on two turns. Yes. Like, I wouldn't like to score in two, but I guess because because you've got the because you've got the dancer out, I feel like I'd want to stall this, you know, three yeah. as I could to make it 3-1. I guess there is the wizard as well, isn't there, which is a, which yep. is a thing. Which means if you're staying in the backfield, you need to keep two back, which is what Martin's doing. So, okay, he is going to kill some turns, wait for some pressure, isn't he? Yeah. And Tree has to generate pressure and have enough back. It's tricky, isn't it? Yes, whilst being shorthanded and using a tree as one of her elves. It's a very <laughs> difficult situation. Very difficult. Yep. Still, Tree's gone into the right spot to do some work at least. And we have some backfield pressure. Yeah. Bit of a safety. The problem is you can't mark the uh, you can't mark no. the catches, can you? So you've got to try and deal with the relays if possible. I mean, you can, but it's just utterly pointless. <laughs> you can get in, you can get between them and the touchdown line, and then they so either have to dodge off backwards or do a three plus two plus, which sadly scares no elf coaches. No. You can get you can get your catcher in a position where they could intercept, right? Like that's that's yeah. one of the things you can do. Five plus with a reroll and obviously face you, but still six plus with a reroll is very high odds. Oh wow, sure feet fails. And opens up a gaping Oh hole. that's that's brutal. Could just go for the score here. I think you probably do. It, it's so difficult to know what to do as the Woodies. But I kind of think you're right, Jim. Maybe pressuring all the midfield options around that line of scrimmage would have been the way to go to make at least the throw kind of long and hope for a fail there. But it's it's so difficult. Actually, with that dancer stunned, perhaps you don't need to score. Yes. Does, it looks like well, it looks like Martin's very firmly deciding not to. I mean, this is the stripper, though, isn't it? There's the stripper here. Yeah. Whoop. A glorious pass by Jimmy Fantastic. Two plus pass, so yeah, why not? This doesn't need a relay. Just, just yeah, just bang it up the field and bang it in. It's, it's yeah. that simple. I mean, it looks that simple. If you look at what Martin did, there was a lovely scream for failure on the throw. There was an elf right by the throw as the throw happened. Um... We could have seen maybe one more around the catcher for the one in 36 fail there, but really, it, the dice was so in his favour. Oh, wow. And this is why I didn't like scoring quickly so much. Four uh, players out, including an edge five. And two out for three. But the dancer back for three. Yeah, I, think I, I would have liked to have... But, you know, if, if you can't, right? Like, you can want to stall it more, but if you just can't stall it, which obviously the, against the wizard and... Dancers and everything. It's fair enough, jamming, banging here. I mean, counterpoint, Jim, you're not wrong, obviously. You know, the Wood Elves got some nice stuff back and you're missing four players. 
but that means those four players definitely come back for the next drive. You are three one up. If they bang another quick one in, you're still three two up, and True. you've got more guaranteed players coming back. True, but I keep so it's even. kind of not that horrific. There is still the whiz though, whiz factor. Yeah, and there were two one in thirty sixes that if he failed, he was in a lot of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so like, that's another thing as well, isn't it? It's it's inter it's super interesting what the uh, what the best thing is. Yep, going for the one turn again here with a grab the grab tree. Yep. Which again I think's the right play. Mm, oh wow. A blizzard. That makes the one turn not so good. <laughs> Um, certainly, uh, a little more, um, challenging. Doesn't get the power. I mean, gets the power, doesn't get the push for the... <laughs> for the ting. Probably should, uh, hand off to this done, sorry. That's probably the play. One, two, three, four, five. God. Oh my god, really, game? <laughs> Why can you pause there? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, probably should have picked it up and handed it off to the dance already. That's, I, that is the play, because this is, a, this is a three plus, and it's on diving tackle. So, you don't want to hit this guy, because then he'll go on there, and he'll be marking two players as well. Perhaps we're staying back with the ball. Maybe. Just creating a corridor and bringing it forward next turn. Well, get to the pow. That was a really, really lucky pow. <laughs> yeah, maybe he would have stayed back without a pow. Oh, nah, well. that seems all alright, doesn't it? I mean, it's alright when if you're going to power blood, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, maybe the plan was... If it's a power, it, hand off, and if it's not a power, run back. Yeah, stay back. I mean, that's an incredibly fast answer. That can then deliver the ball pretty much anywhere at the, around the halfway line next turn. Super interesting. <laughs> Kaelon and it's super interesting. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> This is pretty good from Martin again. Pretty textbook, isn't it? The elf walls pointing in towards where the ball carrier is. Both the st straight line and the main diagonal both covered. Obviously, the pull in field is the play, but yeah. In there. Yes, I thought the last one that stepped in to the uh, to form the trio should have stayed outside and covered the slightly wider angle. Mm. Hey! Could give it back to the dancer here, just so you, just so you don't get hit by the uh, by the strength three. Like I really hate having the ball on the on the strength on the strength two. To be fair, but keeping the stripper as a as a uh, safety. I'm oh, just going to score. Of course, three one. Oh my god, I'm yep. so stupid. I'm so stupid. Yeah, I gotta go for score. So yeah, that was the correct play. <laughs> Obvious correct play was to just score as soon as possible. Even in the blizzard, I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it got. I two, mean, all, got two. Well, just like in the first half, where I, I disagreed with Dave, I agreed with you. I think you had to try those two rerollers GFIs. Mm. I think. Uh, Tree has shown the requisite bravery throughout the game. It's played very well. And still has the In, wizard. What I've learned yep. from being part of this community is that everybody's fucking insane that plays this game. <laughs> Just thinking that you can make two pluses without <laughs> <laughs> That's not unfair. Um, the way I always put it, Dadel, is, is to the other way around sometimes. You need to think, when I tell myself the story of how this all works tomorrow, does it does it because I stopped and they somehow failed something or because I made those two GFIs and I think the story is that you made the two GFIs that's how that worked that's how that was a good thing 
I just don't believe the story where suddenly they don't make a power there where they've got three or four players. I just get believe there. that you're a lucky bastard. <laughs> yes, sometimes I am. Sometimes I'm lucky. And sometimes you have to go, this is a time where I need to be lucky. I wrote a whole article about it. Sometimes you need to be lucky and you've got to try something lucky at those just, moments. Just being a dick. I'm sorry. <laughs> and look, we all have times where we think, I was reminiscing tonight with Dimmy, where we think we're the most dice person in Blood Bowl. I've heard Jimmy say it, I've heard you say it, I've heard Dimmy say it. I know I've said it. Yeah, but I mean... When and I we, say that it's the truth, though. We all mean it. I have genuinely accused Krista of programming Fumble as a 20-year prank to just make my life that little bit worse by giving me dice about 10% worse than they should be. And he refuses to deny it, the bugger. <laughs> <laughs> well, where would be the fun in denying it? Exactly. He's got a lovely sense of humour. Um, so, yeah, we all do. It's, it's absolute confirmation bias. And the fact that we won't accept that it is, even though we know it really is, is further confirmation bias. I mean, it's not. I am the most dice man in Blood Bowl. So. Yes, Jim, you are. I mean, well, someone has. Is, someone so is. Someone is. Yeah, somebody is. Like someone retroactively, is. obviously, it doesn't mean it doesn't mean that the next dice are going to be worse. No. Nope. Somebody has been the most diced man in Blood yes, Bowl. Yes, right? they one hundred percent are. <laughs> someone is today. Someone is this week. Someone is this month's worst. Someone is the year's unluckiest. And one poor sod probably isn't any of those things but is the unluckiest throughout their lifetime of blood bowl yeah that's me that is there is someone who that is true for. Yeah. oh no jimmy fantastic's dead gotta wrap all this oh dear that is apple works Phew. irrelevant but troubling oh thank god the apple it was a decent player it needed to be apple yeah i didn't like this from martin like he, he, he you know like if you're gonna run somebody down like that yeah. That has to be blitzed by Mighty Blow Tackle. <laughs> Don't make it one of your best players. <laughs> and at, at the very least, make sure there's two, so there's yeah. some point to it. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. So it provides some threat, some, something other than just the sacrifice health. Yeah. Which, if it survives, great, but the odds of it not are quite high. It's definitely going to get hit with the hideous thing. Yeah. And especially if it's central. You're not even then creating a cap down a wing. Yeah. Yeah, there was like there was no option for Trish. She had to blitz that guy with my evil yeah. tackle. <laughs> yep. Yeah. However, Martin has opened up a lovely flank here, which is some nice work being done. Yep. Not going for it. Oh well, yeah, there wasn't anybody who hadn't been after it. <laughs> Couldn't go for it. So now this is the last chance for Tree. Has the wizard has to come in, gets the bolt, gets the two plus, gets the Kaz. Flip me. Well, fantastic. We've reduced the backfield army to one, which is exactly what you want. There, it's the best you could hope for. Mm. Fireball talk to the door. That's interesting. Yeah, that's insane. I just thought that myself. Do you need to get them both down with a fireball for it to work? I. I mean, actually, with the snow shortening passing ranges, perhaps it really could have done something. It's a great scatter, isn't it, going back? It really is. One, two, three, four, five, six. And here so come the elves. So we can get to a three-plus pass versus either of these two. And I, I do like this from Tree going for the... Uh, or maybe this guy as well. Going for the... Uh, relays right because you have to yeah right? absolutely it's what you talked about last time is what i said last time hit the elves in the midfield if they make the pass make it a longer pass so there's some chance of it failing yeah. well i mean no, this is really good longer passes now right you can't even do no, it because of the snow you can't yeah. no this is really really good but i think this would have been the strategy all along except you know all that ag5 means long buzz so it'd be some cake yeah but it's a really really nice attempt by tree to turn this around yeah. oh i don't know what happens well, I was bamboozled. Don't, don't tell me, don't tell me. I was bamboozled by these two moves. Um, because this is the next thing that happens. And then the plan becomes obvious. But uh, yeah, I didn't really understand these two moves. Oh, uh, yeah, I see. I just don't know why these two came up here, really. They didn't really yeah. Didn't really do a whole lot. But yeah. Nice little pass here. Three to the reroll, two's to catch. Yeah, it was, it was all about creating a, a no. 
no interception window, wasn't it? But, oh, blimey. That's not what you want. But makes it. And goes four Hand two off. Ah, uh, 4 2 up. Oh, that's pretty brutal, isn't it? Yep. Don't say it's over though. I mean it's ninety-nine percent over, but there could be a there could be a riot. <laughs> Into a blitz. <laughs> Don't say it's over. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty much over. Yes. Really good match though. Yeah, and some cracking play. Mm. Not always as rewarded as it should have been, but I mean, it's hard to say also that it wasn't. I mean, it kind of is. I thought Tree played better than the result, but it's not that Martin did a lot wrong. Yeah, no, I, don't, I think I think he got away with his with his biggest mistake, which was allowing that four plus in for the one D. Um, yes, yeah, I think you're right. And then Tree didn't get away with her biggest mistake, which was allowing a, a three plus in for a two D. <laughs> <coughs> Well, I mean, you did you did point out constantly carrying on the strength two when there were strength three fast pieces around. Mm. Maybe that was a tactical mistake. I don't know. Yeah, I think so. Because there there wasn't much guard on either side, right? There was only one guard yeah. on either, either side. And it's like I love carrying on strength four or five elves. Like I, you know, if I've got a strength four elf, they are getting the ball every flipping time. So to to put it on the you know obviously there's a time and a place to put it on their strength two, but. I, they, there's not a lot of anti-sacking things, is there? So if you haven't got no. any of them, strength is, <coughs> the, strength of one of the, is one of the ones there is. I mean, putting it on the strength threes, particularly on a bludger, I mean, you're still going to get the same pieces trying to sack it, and it's it's not a great defence, and it does reduce your ability to, you know, affect the rest of the field, because that's your fast, hitty pieces, but mm. it does make it so much harder to sack than a strength two. I don't know. I don't know. I thought that was really nicely played. I thought it was some great elf screening, some great elf positioning in that game. Though. Yep, so there you go. Congratulations to Martin Septim and his glorious team of Jimmy Fantastics. And commiserations to Miss Pell Tree. And thank you very much, Daedal Quist and Purple Chest. Glorious having you fellas in the booth. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you. Oh. And thanks for watching, but... everyone. <laughs> Would you like to say something, PC? Just love it to pop in. Oh, thanks. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.